Hey guys, it's DIY Rob. So I'm about to upgrade this Lenovo G510 to an SSD. Not because of boot times and other fancy SSD benchmarks, but simply because sometimes there are some programs that um I can I can feel uh, waiting on the hard disk. And so an SSD will make life a little bit smoother when I'm using those programs. So I'm not, however, going to use an SSD only in the system because I just don't trust them enough. I'm going to have to keep my HDD, my 500 uh, gigabyte uh, hard drive in the DVD drive using a caddy. And you can see now my caddy has arrived. I think I spent on the $3 for this plastic stuff. And I want to simulate having another hard drive in the caddy before I go ahead and buy the SSD. So for now, my original hard drive is still inside in the hard drive bay, but I want to simulate using a second spare HD um, hard drive that I have in the caddy. And uh, I want to see how it performs in one or two days, just to see if the hard drive goes to sleep or if it, if it lags when I try to access files from the, from the second hard drive. And uh, also, because I read that this Lenovo G510 has a, a few problems when it comes to um, fully fully seeing the hard drive in the caddy and keeping it online always. So let's just quickly get started. As always, if you have a Lenovo G10, G510, you know that there are two screws that hold the back cover, which then slides out. And here I've gone ahead and inserted the hard drive into the caddy and screwed four screws at the back holding the plastic to the, the hard drive. So I need to remove this DVD drive, the, the optical drive. There is a screw here that holds it locked inside. So now I can simply slide this out and here is the DVD drive. So there is a hole here that you can insert a pin to remove uh, this bezel. Now there are some clips here holding, you can see they're holding the bezel to this plate here. I'm going to use a screwdriver to gently push them in and pull the bezel out. So I've pushed down that small clip and there's another one here. Like this. You have to be very careful. You can see how much I had to work on it to push it under this this very slim plastic pieces are so fragile they just want to break. So here is the other side. There is a clip here too. Okay, intact. So you can see these are the clips here. There is one here, two in the middle, and the second one here, which is very hard to get out. Okay. So now, I think this bezel should match. And this holes on the caddy.
and it just doesn't want to go in on this side. But I don't want to break this bezel. Let's see, why is this? Okay, I'm just, uh, I, I don't want to break this bezel, so I'm going to leave it this way, since I'm just currently only testing to see if it works. Okay, so I have to switch this small flap on here that is going to be held on by this screw. So all I need to do is simply unscrew from here and screw here. Done. So now I'm going to place back the caddy with the external hard drive. In here. No. And then screw back to grab onto the caddy from inside. Okay, it's done. So now we have our second hard drive. You can see this is the first. We have our second hard drive inside the caddy. I'm just going to off camera quickly clean out the fan because I never waste the opportunity to clean out the fan whenever I open it. The fan has been serviced, heatsink cleaned, and I've put back the back cover. So all I need to do now is slide in the battery, lock it, and now you can see this sticking out. If uh, everything goes well and I'm going to keep this caddy in the computer, I'm going to sort this out. So let me now dock the laptop back to its position and uh, switch it on. And let's take a look at how we can uh, interact with that spare hard drive in the DVD drive caddy. Docked the laptop and switched it on. Uh, so far, I don't see any activity light on the... As you can see, there is no activity light on the DVD drive. So let me open up Explorer and let's see if we can find the HDD. Interesting. It's there. LC Power. This is what it's named in this computer. So you can see it's drive F. Yes, everything is there. But I don't see any activity light because now, if I remember correctly, the activity light should be blinking here, I think. If I remember correctly, the caddy is so cheap that there is no LED light on it. Meanwhile, on the DVD drive, you can see the LEDs here. So the caddy is cheap <laughs> with no activity light, but I didn't need to set anything up to get this working. And you could see that from the moment I went into my, my PC, the drive is here. Let's, let's just do some uh, speed test. Let me open up where I usually keep my videos. So I found the big file here, 3.4 gigabytes. So let me transfer now from my computer's um, original hard drive into the hard drive in the caddy. Copy. The speed is around 70 megabytes per second. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see my performance. We have my original disk. It's at a hundred percent use. Yes, that's correct. Disk F fifty to hundred to around ninety percent use. CPU is good. CPU is seven percent. My temperatures. CPU temperatures are 37, 38 degrees centigrade, so that's very, very good. But the speed is, speed is kind of low. Let me try from the caddy. 
back to the computer's hard drive. Let's move. Whoa, blast up to 500 megabytes per second, but it has settled down at around 80. It looks like this is the speed that I'm going to get from uh, the DVD drive. So guys, what can I say? <laughs> it works. The the three US dollar drive is working. Um, CAD is working with my external drive. My temperature is, you can see 36 degrees C. Let me put the microphone very close to the laptop and let's see. I don't hear any other specific noise, extra noise, because now there are two drives running. One is running here, the other around here. It's pretty silent to me. I don't know if you can hear. This is the computer at IDO. I think you can hear the fan down there, but since it's just under 40 degrees C, I don't think there is any special noise to hear from the fans. The fans would be pretty quiet. The $3 caddy. <laughs> it's working. I didn't have to wake it up. You can see, you saw it right with me. It was the first time I opened Explorer. And I didn't have to do anything special to wake up the, the drive. It's it's active right from the start, right from booting. And uh, it's here. I'm very happy about this. So that means that I will be able to use my um, original hard drive in the DVD drive caddy, optical drive section as the storage, the mass storage for all of my files. And I want as less info as possible, less data as possible on the SSD, because uh, I'm, I'm very scared of, of these SSDs, you know, I hear stories about people waking up, everything was alright last night and the next day the computer doesn't boot or there is, uh, the SSD is not nowhere to be found. But it's nice that I can back up directly to the HDD on the caddy, in the caddy, in the optical drive, and maybe if needed I may take that up to one terabyte from the 500 gigs that I have now. So I have that uh, as mass storage as well as the OS and the software backup location, the first primary backup location, because my second prime um, backup location will be the external drives that I have. And this is to have as many backups as possible for my data. I'm going to actually make, uh, have a specific um, 500 gigs drive in 2.5 uh, uh, inch format, 2.5 format, that is going to have a direct clone of the SSD. And this is going to be done regularly, probably every week. So that if for any reason the SSD dies, and maybe this is just paranoia, but for any reason it dies, I can simply just slot in, push in the, its clone, HDD drive back into the space before I can then, uh, and basically continue my work before I can uh, move on to find what's wrong with the SSD. So this is just the beginning, the first part of this video. I'm going to follow up in, I'm going to continue now to use this drive in the HDD, in the DVD caddy for a couple of days before I commit to buying the SSD. And I'm going to report back with uh, noise, temperature, the performance, if it goes to sleep, how it performs when the computer goes to sleep. And uh, if I need to wake it up, if just general statistics that uh, I never found information about online from people using a caddy in their DVD drive. I'll be back in a couple of days. Have a nice day or night.